The IROD's policy-based data management system controls technology and collection properties through policies. Policies may be used to manage interactions with users, interactions with technologies, and properties of collections. The IROD's data grid has 10 default policies for management of a data sharing environment. These policies were developed over a 20-year period during applications of data grids to a wide diversity of projects. Applications from 25 disciplines use data grids to implement project collections, collaboration environments, digital libraries, data distribution networks, archives, data processing pipelines. Each application had a different driving purpose and therefore implemented different policies. All projects had policy sets for naming, arrangement, description, sharing, and distribution. The default policies provided with the IROD's data grid represent a minimal set of policies needed to manage distributed data. The IROD's framework is a highly controlled environment that simplifies the additional policies that are needed. Since every access is authenticated and every operation is authorized, security policies can manage the addition of access controls on each object. The default policies mainly initialize system parameters for the IROD's framework and set default parameters for collection management. The properties associated with the user account are controlled by a policy AC Create User shown here. The policy was implemented to restrict formation of trash directories for external users of the system. Each time a user account is created, the policy checks whether a public account or a single user account is being created. Except for the anonymous account, the policy creates a home directory for each user. Dollar rod zone proxy, home, dollar other username. A trash directory, dollar rod zone proxy, trash, home, dollar other username, and adds the account to the public group. Here, dollar rod zone proxy and dollar other username are session variables set up by the data grid to represent the requested username. The anonymous account represents persons who do not have an account in the data grid, while the public account represents all persons who do have an account in the data grid. If a project decides to eliminate the creation of a trash directory for additional accounts, this can be accomplished by adding a test for that account in the rule function acCreateUserF1. The policy that manages deletion of users has similar components to the user creation policy. For each property set up when an account is created, a disposition policy is needed when the account is deleted. The default user deletion policy is shown here. The policy deletes the trash directory and the home directory for the account that is being deleted. The policy could be modified to move the contents of the home directory to another account and archive the material instead of deleting the directory contents. This would be an appropriate modification for the management of accounts associated with research projects. An example is the archiving of research project results when a project member, graduate student, graduates. A policy is needed to manage the renaming of a data grid, shown here. This is an involved process since the data grid name is embedded in the path information for every file. The policy has two steps, first changing the path names and then changing the data grid zone name. Note that recovery mechanisms are used to roll back changes to the database if either of the steps fails. If the second step fails, the changes from both the second and first step are rolled back. Policies are also defined for setting the number of parallel I.O. streams that will be used for moving large files, whether path permissions are checked on file registration, and how files will be named when writing files into a storage vault. The choice for naming the physical files is important. File systems behave poorly when millions of files are written to the same directory. One option is to insert two levels of indirection in the path name. Each level is a random number with a value between 1 and 100. This sorts each logical collection name into 10,000 physical subdirectories. The two micron all sky survey stored 5 million files in a single collection. Using indirection, the files were stored in 10,000 physical subdirectories with only 2,500 files per subdirectory. Policies for naming additional properties of the data grid are shown here. A policy controls the number of simultaneous threads that can be used for executing rules. The default number is four, making it possible for three other rules to execute while a long-running rule is being processed. 
The bulk processing policy is an optimization for bulk import of data into the data grid. This turns off the AC post proc for put processing steps in order to load files more efficiently. Storage quotas are controlled by a policy. They can be turned on or off. For the lifetime library, a quota of 500 gigabytes is set for every user. Since this includes the storage for replicas, the effective quota is 250 gigabytes per user. The storage selection policy defines which storage resource to use when files are put into the data grid. This default location can be overridden by the data load command to specify another location. To keep a single resource from being overloaded, the default location can be a group of storage resources. The data grid can then distribute files across the storage group. Take seven minutes to answer exercise 30. Identify examples of the policies that control technology versus examples of the policies that control users. How do these differ from policies that control the collection? Please load a paragraph describing your conclusions into the Lifetime Library in the subcollection class INLS 624 by the end of today's class.